Hello, once again everyone, it's day 19 of my 22 push-up challenge. This will probably be my last informational segment and I'll leave the final three segments open to surprise. Today I want to discuss some of the organizations out there that have good reputations for getting most of the donations and resources to the veterans themselves or to researchers rather than lining the pockets of staff, which is uh, a common problem in charities. First off on this list is an organization that I've personally given to called the Fisher House. This organization provides a lot of benefits to veterans, but it's best known for the network of facilities where military and veterans families can stay at no cost while a loved one is receiving treatment. These feature a selection of ways uh, that people can donate not just money, but things like frequent flyer miles, vehicles, stocks and securities, hotel reward points, and more. They're a great organization with a great track record of getting those donations to the folks that need them, having served over a quarter of a million families since their founding. Next on my list is a group called Thanks America. This organization distributes need-based college, technical, and vocational school scholarships to children and spouses of active duty U.S. military members. Since it was founded, the organization has awarded over 3,500 scholarships totaling almost $10 million. Another great group and one that's been around for a long time is the DAV or the Disabled American Veterans. They support physical and psychological rehabilitation programs that provide direct service to ill, injured, or wounded veterans. Homes for Our Troops is another great organization. This group focuses on helping severely injured veterans returning home from Iraq and Afghanistan. They build mortgage-free and specially adapted houses for multiple amputees and veterans with traumatic brain injuries. It also adapts existing homes for handicapped accessibility. Home for Our Troops has built nearly 170 homes since its founding, with another 50 currently underway. Finally, there's an organization called the Wounded Warriors Project. Their mission is to serve veterans and service members who incurred a physical or mental injury, illness, or wound coincident with their military service on or after September 11, 2001, and their families. Wounded Warrior Project takes a holistic approach when serving the warriors and their families to nurture the mind and to encourage economic empowerment and engagement. Through a high touch and interactive approach, the Wounded Warriors Project hopes to foster the most successful, well-adjusted generation of wounded service members in our nation's history. Well, I hope you found some of this information I presented today or over the last several days interesting and perhaps might motivate you to help out in this great cause. I've included links to the websites for these organizations in the notes uh, on this posting and uh, I hope, uh, hope you are motivated to help out. Thanks for listening and now on to today's push-ups.